Welcome into the Like a Mobile Jaguars Jam. The Jags and the Chargers coming up in week 14. J.P. Shadrick and Hunter Logan Cook is our guest today. What's up? What's hey, up, man? How you doing? Good to be here. Good to, good to have you. Yeah. Uh, here's how it works. We have questions from UK media and fans. All right. But this year, we're starting with a drawing. Mm. We're going to give it away to a fan. You're going to autograph it. All right. Um, let, draw a Jaguar head logo, and you have about 45 seconds to do this. All right. Tell me when to go. Go. But, uh, oh, no. I had to think about well, it. No, go now. Go. All right. Uh, we're going to preview the Los Angeles Chargers, of course. Philip Rivers is still the Chargers quarterback. He's been there seemingly forever. This is year so far, 3,400 yards passing, 17 touchdowns, but 15 interceptions. This Chargers team has lost a lot of close games. All eight of their losses by seven points or less this year. They've dropped the last three in a row. And uh, on, obviously on defense, Gus Bradley running that defense there. Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram, the pass rushers. Thomas Davis is over this year from Carolina, the free agent. And uh, he's still having a very good season, of course, leading that team in tackles the Chargers at 4 and 8 the exact record of the Jacksonville Jaguars coming into TIAA Bank Field this Sunday to face the Jags in week 14. Uh, let's see. Don't call it yet. Your call pro- it. Okay, you got a few seconds yeah, left. Yeah, I need a few more. Okay, I can stall a little more. Austin yeah, Eckler, uh, the running back is a, a dual threat obviously for the Chargers, big in the passing game for Philip Rivers and uh, Ingram the running back or uh, Melvin Gordon the running back. Uh, held out early in the year, but he's played well the last four games or so. Now I have to call it a lot of things. What do you got for us? Show us the camera. Your Jaguar head logo, Logan Cook, please. Sir. What are we showing him? Show show that camera over. All over right, there. Uh, right, right now. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Right like now. No. All right, cool. <sighs> okay. I tried. Right. I tried to do it pretty similar. It's okay. It's not. That's but close. I mean, it's better than some of the others we've had. Around. Yeah. Well so, done. Autograph the bottom, All right. and we'll we'll send it across the pond. Let's get to the questions. Uh, the first one from Sam Morgan of Verge Magazine. If you weren't a punter, what position would you have wanted to play in the NFL, and did you play any other positions before becoming a punter? Um, seeing how big some of those guys are, uh, my question, I might regret it, but uh, I played quarterback in high school, a little bit junior high in high school, played receiver a little bit in high school. So I'd have to say quarterback. I kind of like being in charge of stuff and throwing the football, so... Okay. When did you switch? Um, I mean, I, so so I, I think I switched my junior year to receiver. Um, played quarterback, Pee Wee Junior High, in, in the early years of high school too. And um, I don't know. I enjoy both of them. All right, but now you're punting professionally. Now I'm punting. So this is it. Made but it. But you could throw if you needed to. Yeah. In theory. In theory. Can't throw. That's right. <laughs> right. Next question. Pedal bit has this one. You're already covering Josh Lambeau for kickoffs. Could you kick field goals in an emergency, and what would be a comfortable distance for you to make one? Emergency, 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 yes. Um, tri- triple emergency. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I can, uh, I think I made a 70 yarder the other day. 70? Yeah, the wind was blowing, though. Wind aided. Yeah. You were at elevation also. <laughs> Just hit it up. Okay. <laughs> I like that, though. But you obviously would be the emergency, 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 emergency kicker. Right. You like kicking off, though? Yeah, love it. You did that in college a little bit, though. Mm-hmm. Right? Every year? Well, every year minus one year, I think. Okay. I enjoy it. It keeps me loose. I like opening kickoff. Possibility to, to hit somebody, maybe. I like that. Yeah. It, it's The opening kickoff's always the best. It right? is. Ball's on the tee. Everybody's ready to Cowbells. go. Cowbells. Sorry, not, that's, that's not those. That's not. <laughs> that was nice, though. Uh, I'm sure it was yeah. down in Starkville. Uh, Stephen Jenkins has the next question. Why did you choose, choose football over rodeo? <laughs> what? So explain your rodeo background, if you could, um, sir. Man, people always ask about this. All right, so I started riding horses and sheep and cat, whatever, since I was probably uh, three or four years old. And, um, I thought you meant the other day you were riding sheep. No? <laughs> no. Okay. That, you've grown no, out of that. Yeah. And um, I rode sheep when I was a little bitty and um, then started riding calves and steers and stuff. And um, I used to rope. I mean, did all that stuff. And you kind of hit a point where you have to decide one of the two because, you know, you got, you got to keep a horse in shape when you're roping and stuff. It's the same thing. And I, I just got kind of tired of it. So. So now, could you you could hop on a horse today if you wanted yeah. to, right? And yeah. Just ride around. Mm-hmm. When, when I go back home, every once in a blue moon, if my sister's riding, well, now she don't live there, but when she did, you know, we go ride around a little bit and try to ride. I mean, it's like riding a bike, except it's riding a horse. Exactly. It's the same thing. You never lose that. Never lose it. <laughs> Let's get to the next question <laughs> from uh, Tansty23. How did you get into punting? We talked about your background before. Then, what point did you say, "Hey, I'm going to mess around and kick this football around"? Here? 
Um, I mean, seriously, probably punting. Honestly, it's, I was a, probably a sophomore, junior in high school. Um, I always kick, and uh, I may have a picture of when I was like two or three kicking a football with my grandpa. But I, um, I don't know. Probably I wanted to be a kicker, and then I guess I figured I was gonna be tall and you know a little more lanky, so I could I could punt. And probably my sophomore, junior year of high school. There's a lot of these uh, kind of going off topic here. There's been a lot of uh, Australian punters yeah. come into football, especially in college football these right. days. And they've, uh, because of the Aussie rules background and the way they can do the end over end thing, how, how is that for a guy in your role? And, and how does that change what you have to do in your skill set? I mean, to compete. I, I like it. And um, I mean, actually, some balls I hit, I learned from them, from Aussie rules football, and, um, and just kind of the way they hit the football. And, and if you look at the, evol- you know, I guess, uh, evolving a punting from from back in the day with when Ray Guy all they used to do was spiral it now you look at where it's at now and we and I'll probably have I don't know five or six different balls I hit at a given time and that's all from all zero rules football so I love it man I mean they can stay out of Jacksonville but <laughs> <laughs> right yeah. keep, the, keep the job here right for you uh, next question Mary Davies you and Josh have been together for a couple of years on special teams Lambo of course what's your relationship like do you hang out away from the field and uh, you know, kickers are a little different. I right. get that. Yeah, yeah, we do sometimes. And I, and I think it's good to have a good relationship, which we do, um, even with Matt as our snapper. And, um, you know, I, th- I think, l- like we were talking about before this, within your room, whether it's quarterback room, DB room, wide receiver room, kick, you know, your specialist room, I think all of you have to be tight. I mean, I- if you hate each other, you know, I don't, I don't think you're going to perform well on the field. So especially since, you know, us three, every, every snap, you know, especially on field goals, you know, it, it. You know, Matt's involved. I'm involved, and, and Josh's involved. So, so I think you know, being close really helps. Next question, Leah Seville. What are your top three things about playing in London? You've been there a couple of years now. Yeah. What do you like about the stadium? The uh, the situation there. Um, played there twice. Had two pretty decent games, so I like it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, it, it's cool over there. It's different. You know, getting to see you know a different culture and. And being a different part of the world is pretty neat. And, um, you know, being in Wembley is cool. I'm not a huge soccer fan, but, I mean, I know what Wembley is. So Everybody does. Yeah, so it's, it's a unique experience. It's a big place and uh, always a fun game over there for the Jags in London. Uh, ben Tryman has the next question. What would you like to do after your footballing career is over? And, you know, let's hope that's a long time from now. Right. Um, you ever think about that? Yeah, you know, I, I'd love to work in the outdoor industry somewhere. Um, I, mean, I don't really care where or, or what position, but... I mean, outdoors is a passion of mine, um, whether it's TV production or marketing side or just, you know, being behind, in front of the camera. Like, that stuff really amuses me. And, um, I mean, I got a YouTube channel, and we do a lot of hunting stuff on there. So, I don't know, maybe that. What have you done recently on there? Do you do it during the season at all? I know it's no. just hunting time right now, right? Yeah, I mean, on an off day, you know, uh, me and my fiance will go hunt, or me and some of my buddies will hunt. But um, mainly, like, I guess when March comes is when turkey season opens. So, that's kind of like – Okay. Most of my YouTube channel is full of turkey hunts. Mm. Check it out. Well, what is Shout what, out. what is the actual website? Oh, it's just under Logan Cook YouTube. That, that's the name of my YouTube channel. Okay, YouTube and there you uh, go. Search, Subscribe. Search Logan Cook and you can watch a bunch of uh, hunting videos. That'll be good. Final question today for you. This is the question of the week from the Jag Tag program presented by LGT Vestra at US. Jag Tag, a simplified version of American football, played in schools around England. The question from Nasser Stanford from Walworth Academy. He's 14 years old. What's the best and worst locker room in the NFL and why? We have a great locker room here in Jacksonville. The lights and the seats and the lockers and everything going on. But going around to the visiting ones, what are some of the good and bad ones off the top of your head? Ooh, Tampa Bay is awful. That's the only one I remember. Why is that? I just remember I had a chair. I didn't even have a locker. So (laughs) that's one reason. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Coming up – Oakland. Yeah. Uh, the Coliseum. You haven't been there yet, but it's the last game ever in the Coliseum. Really? And it is, yes. That's a big deal. Yes, it is. And But it is notorious for not having a great facility. Really? Yes. Well, maybe we can beat Tampa Bay. We'll see. Yeah. I'm going to think about it now. Okay. Something to think about. Yeah. Thank you for the <laughs> question today. Uh, thank you for the drawing. Thank you for coming yeah. in. Uh, congratulations on a, a great year so far. Appreciate and it. And keep it up down the stretch here, will you? Thank you. Let's get you in the Pro Bowl, too. My God. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's something cool. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Might as well. Keep We're here. Well. Keep hunting well. Yeah. Get those votes in. Uh, Logan will talk to you. Logan Cook, Jaguars punter. We'll see you next week on the Like a Mobile Jaguars Jam.